here are solutions to quiz one for Math 243. Um, okay, so we're given this little scenario. I suspect that watching this tournament makes SOU students more relaxed. Test this hypothesis by randomly selecting 250 SOU students that watch this tournament and measure their blood pressure twice. And what I find is that 75% of them had lower blood pressure after the tournament. And that on average, blood pressure decreased by three points. Okay. I thus conclude that watching the tournament relaxes SOU students. Um, so now I go through and answer these questions. First of all, what is my research objective? Research objective is the question you're trying to answer with all this. So the question, I mean, you can kind of look at the conclusion. I conclude that watching the tournament relaxes SOU students. My research objective would be to determine if watching the 2012 men's NCAA basketball tournament oops NCAA basketball tournament uh, makes SOU students more relaxed won't always be this way, but in this case, it was just the first sentence that I wrote here, basically, which is kind of nice. What is the sample? Okay, so the sample are the people that you actually observe, that you actually get data from. In this case, it's these 250, so yeah, I'll just write it. Maybe I can change colors. It's the 250 randomly selected SOU students. I watch the tournament. So that's just copying this sentence here. Randomly selected 250 SOU students that watch the tournament. What is the population? Okay, so the population is a group for which the sample is representative. So instead of just these 250 randomly selected SOU students, now it's all SOU students that watch the tournament. What are the descriptive statistics? Descriptive statistics are the things that kind of summarize our data. So instead of you picture I have this long list of data, I figured out blood pressure for a student before and after, there are 250 data points that have their average blood pressure, all these, this big list of information that's not that helpful to me. I want to kind of summarize it so that I can use it. Um, so the descriptive statistics are that summary. In this case, um, it would be that 75% of students of, of the sample maybe had lower blood pressure After the tournament, and average blood pressure decreased uh, by three points. So kind of two different descriptive statistics, I suppose, in this case. Um, and I don't know why I stopped changing colors, but I did. What is my conclusion? I thus concluded that. Okay, so that's kind of nice. I basically tell you. Watching the tournament relaxes SOU students. All right, that was a lot of writing. Um, the second problem, we are asked to determine whether each of these data are quantitative or qualitative. So you remember quantitative, you're thinking numbers with a meaningful average, a meaningful mean. And qualitative, you're thinking qualities, categories. Maybe I should be putting these in parentheses. 
So gender is no number there, definitely a category, so definitely qualitative. Height is a number, and if we had a bunch of people and we had their height and we, I don't know, measured in inches maybe, we could take the average and figure out the average height of somebody that would have meaning. So I would say this should be quantitative. Uh, phone number, careful, this one's kind of tricky. It is a number, but the average of phone numbers doesn't really make sense, right? The average of a bunch of different phone numbers isn't a meaningful average. The average of my number and your number doesn't have any meaning. So I would say this is qualitative. Same logic for zip code. Sure, it's a number, but it's not a number with a meaningful average. If you live in this zip code, I live in this zip code, the average of those two numbers doesn't mean anything in terms of the data. Um, age gets us back to quantitative. They're numbers, you could average them all out and it would make sense. And blood pressure, I would say is quantitative. Again, these are numbers and the average person's blood pressure would make sense. So I think these are, you could probably argue a few of these in different ways, but I think the most obvious answers to each of these are as I have them stated. So that is the end of this quiz.